Hey y'all, this is Janet, Strange RV Tours. And we're here in Dallas, Texas at a home of a very important person, which is J.D. Tippett. Come and watch. All right, guys, this is, all right, guys, this is the home where J.D. Tippett resided when he was a patrolman for Dallas Police Department and when he was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963 by supposedly Oswald. So this is where he lived. He's known to be a great father, husband, and patrolman. And then we've actually seen videos of him getting into his patrol car in front of this home. But um, on that fateful day, he was patrolling in the Oak Cliff area. He heard the radio dispatch say, I'll patrol men to Elm and Houston. And then he got a dispatch call to number 78, which is his number 78, to patrol Oak Cliff area of Dallas and uh, well he heard the description of the the man that they were looking for which was Oswald and um, apparently they you know the build 165 pounds and they were looking for Oswald well when Tippett went down to 10th and Patton he saw a guy walking with that description and he pulled over on 10th Street, right in front of House 404, and called out to the guy through his window, and then got out. By the time he got to his front tire, the guy shot him three times, killing him instantly. And uh, he had his car, patrol car number 10, is displayed on the side. And he actually died there in the middle of the street. So that was devastating. But they used to call him JFK at the, in, at the police stations. Because he looked like JFK, actually. And it's kind of weird, I think, that here... An hour after JFK died, he gets killed too. So that's kind of questionable to us. But um, he normally did not patrol that area and why he was sent to that area uh, is kind of questionable too. And during the daylight hours, they, they do have one guy in the patrol cars doing residential in their cars you know, during the day. So that's pretty cool. We came down here to see the house, show you guys the house, and tell you a little bit more about Tippett. He did join the force in July of 1952, and his commander, Curry, said he was an outstanding officer, patrolman. Now, it's, it was said that he came home for lunch and had lunch with his son. And then uh, they're saying that he might have taken his son to Dealey Plaza to watch everything. And there's photographic evidence that his son was there. They're saying his son was actually at Dealey Plaza when all that, the assassination took place. But um, that's the last time he saw his, his dad alive because he was shot just not long after that, over there on 10th Street. And uh, we, we heard that somebody said the guy was a short, chubby guy with fuzzy hair. And then somebody else said, picked out Oswald on the lineup saying it was him and that he had a gun and he changed his bullets on the corner and 
went on down to Jackson Street. But there's, I don't know, a lot of witnesses there. A lot of witnesses there. But this is where he lived. Just an average home. And with his wife and kid, you know. And uh, hopefully, you know, people will look at and do their own research. And, you know, we do a lot of research. That's why we can find these places. <laughs> now, we know that Tippett was called to go to that area. And he did see a guy named Domingo Benavides, I believe, that was driving down the street and saw the police car, saw the guy standing next to the police car, and actually saw the guy pull out a gun and shoot Tippett. You know, and Domingo stayed in his truck until he saw the guy run down to the corner, he emptied his shells, and then took on down to Jackson. Uh, Jackson Street and he uh, did pick him out in a lineup but he's the one that called dispatch on Tippett's radio Domingo was the guy that actually grabbed the radio to, you know emergency you know so he was one of the main main witnesses but anyway you all um, you guys hope you guys enjoyed this i mean it's just more information just a location where Tippett lived during the time he was working and when he was assassin assassinated but anyway um thanks for watching hit the subscribe button hit the little bell for notifications and have a good day Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fit your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on the air